Ever wonder how many charismatics it takes to change a light bulb? Well, the answer is one. One to change the bulb, and nine to pray against the spirit of darkness. And what about Calvinists? None. They believe God has predestined when the light will be on. They simply read the instructions and pray the light bulb will be one that has been chosen to be changed. Now let's consider Armenians. How many does it take to change a light bulb? All of them. They need everyone to make sure it stays on. One can never really be sure, you see. And Baptists, you ask? Well, the response to that would be, change? They're quite set in their ways, those Baptists. Now the Neo-Orthodox present a challenging case. No one knows how many it takes to change a bulb. They can't tell the difference between light and dark, you see. And the TV evangelists? Just one. But for the message of light to continue, they'll need your donation today. The independent fundamentalists? Only one, because any more might result in too much cooperation. And we can't have that, can we? Now the liberals, at least 10, they need to hold a debate on whether or not the light bulb exists. Even if they can agree upon the existence of the light bulb, they still might not change it to keep from alienating those who might use other forms of light. Catholics? None. They always use candles. And worship leaders who use guitars? Just one. But soon all those around can warm up to its glowing. Members of an established fundamental Bible teaching church that is over 20 years old? One to actually change the bulb, and nine to say how much they liked the old one. United Methodists? Well, they choose not to make a statement either in favor of or against the need for a light bulb. However, if in your own journey you have found that a light bulb works for you, that is fine. And Amish folks, they'll just ask, what's a light bulb? And youth pastors? They aren't around long enough for a light bulb to burn out. Southern Baptists, 109. Seven on the light bulb task force subcommittee, who report to the 12 on the light bulb task force, appointed by the 15 on the trustee board. Their recommendation is reviewed by the Finance Committee Executive of Five, who place it on the agenda of the 18-member Finance Committee. If they approve, they bring a motion to the 27-member Church Board, who appoint another 12-member Review Committee. If they recommend that the Church Board proceed, a resolution is brought to the Congregational Business Meeting. They appoint another 8-member Review Committee. If their report to the next Congregational Business Meeting supports the changing of a light bulb, and the congregation votes in favor, the responsibility to carry out the light bulb change is passed on to the trustee board, who in turn appoint a seven-member committee to find the best price in new light bulbs. So there you have it. The answer to the burning question, how many religious folks does it take to change a light bulb? From Charismatics to Southern Baptists, the answer varies. But one thing is certain, no matter how many it takes to change the bulb,